it's our honor and our pleasure to start the awards. One thing we do every year is to award a Distinguished American Award. And this year, we're delighted that we have somebody that you probably recognize, Scott Bruner. Uh, as you know, Scott was drafted by the Giants in the sixth round in 1981 and took over for Phil Simms when he got hurt and won five of the last six games, beat Philadelphia in the playoffs. And unfortunately, they lost to San Francisco in the, uh, on the way to the Super Bowl. He was a great star at All-American at Delaware. You can read about all his records in the program. But I think there are two things that are important for you to recognize about Scott. One is he was able to transition from football to being successful in business. And that's really what it's all about, to be able to transition from these sports in life to be productive in whatever your calling is. The second thing is that he has continued his love for football by being one of the most sought after quarterback uh, coaches around. And he uh, has many protégés that are now playing at higher levels, but it, it's indicative of his ability to translate the intricacies of being a quarterback to these young people in their lives. Um, Scott's also somebody who understands that we all have an obligation to give back in life, to give it back to our community and to give it back to one another. So it's my pleasure uh, to introduce Scott to you. His wife Helene is here. She's very distinguished in her own right on Wall Street. So we have a dynamic duo here. <laughs> so I guess, Matt, you're going to present the award. Scott, would you please come up? The recipient of our Distinguished American Award for this year. Hey, everybody. Ryan Sudol here. I am here at the Madison Hotel in, Mo in Morristown, New Jersey, for the National Football Foundation Morrison Sussex Scholar Athlete Banquet. And this man to my, to my right is going to be uh, is going to be awarded the Distinguished American Award by the National Football Foundation tonight. Scott Brunner, formerly the New York Giants. What is it like to get that honor tonight? Oh, it's a great honor. Uh, I've been involved with the foundation uh, at different levels uh, nationally uh, in different parts of the country for oh, Matt, going on 30-some years Lord, now. And uh, to get this Matt, honor is uh, very, very rewarding for me. Yeah, now, now you um, obviously played professionally. Seeing all the kids that are in here tonight, do you see yourself in any of the kids? Oh, yeah. I was actually one of them. Uh, really? Yeah, back in 1975 when I was a senior in high school down in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Uh, I was one of the uh, nominees for the Scholar Athlete uh, in the uh, Trenton area. And uh, so I went through this experience uh, myself personally from the seat that they're sitting in. So, that, so you must you must take it back, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's come a long way, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have the tuxedos on Got now. The bagpiper. We, we didn't quite have the tuxedo set up when I play, uh, when I was involved, <laughs> but you know, it's it's really great for the kids, and it makes it a special evening. All right, well, thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I am here with uh, the former athletic director for uh, for Rutgers University and a current current board member of the National Football Foundation. Mr. Bob Mulcahy, you are also affiliated with the main sponsor of the evening, the Atlantic Health System. Uh, how important is their sponsorship to tonight's event? Uh, their sponsorship is critical, but I think you got to look at what we do and what we have done in Atlantic Health. We have a whole sports medicine department. Uh, we ha provide services for many of these high school athletes, as well as uh, the Jets and other teams. But in order to put on a dinner like this, you have to have an organization that believes in it, is willing to put up the money to help sponsor it. And they have been very, very uh, good in terms of whenever I've gone to them saying, yes, we believe this is good. It's Look, this is honoring the best of youth in America today. Do you ever get tired of doing this dinner? I never get tired of doing dinner because of the kids. I should say the young men. Uh, when you have examples like this, you can't get tired. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I am here with the president of the Greater Morris County Chapter of the National Football Foundation College Hall of Fame, Mr. Matt Salito. Uh, we just got done with the evening. Um, 24th year. Do you ever get tired of it? Never. Never. Uh, it's always new. Well, it's always new kids, new families. Um, and <clears throat> whenever I reach the end of it, it's exciting to think 
of the next year coming up. In fact, they just started a new chapter down in Collier County, Florida. And, yeah, so it's exciting thinking about that. Um, so um, what do you think is the most rewarding part of, uh, of running this whole show? Well, the whole thing about it is that you're giving credence, you're giving honor to uh, young men that don't get recognized normally. The ones that uh, listened the to class, their teachers, athletes, uh, listened to, to their coaches, uh, listened to their parents, did all the right things, and uh, nobody ever listened to them. As I say at the dinner, as you heard, yes, if one of them um, did something Janet's wrong tonight and maybe snuck a drink, okay, left this uh, dinner, and went out and, God forbid, I got in an accident and maimed someone, and they'd be in the front page tomorrow. Right. But because they did all the right things, in our most rigorous class they never get any credit. He is he. I know, and that's why they're honored tonight. Absolutely. We have the, the, the formula comes down from national, 40% academic, 40% athleticism, and 20% citizenship. That's the formula that's used by the athletic director and head coach of each school to pick their senior football athlete to be honored here tonight. Um, now, uh, what do you think um, is the favorite part of the players? Like, what do you think their favorite part is, just by looking at them up, uh, sitting up there at the day? That their parents are there. Their parents are there feeling proud of them that evening. You have a lot to be proud of yourself, I would imagine. That's not what turns me on. What turns me on is giving them an opportunity to have their parents feel proud of them.